Thank you, Chris. Whoops. Sorry about it. And <laughs> right, there we go. Um, so I normally like to do kind of um, highbrow and clever, social economic observation style uh, kind of stuff, but I uh, currently have possibly the ultimate comment in this uh, injury, a sprained wrist, and, and it seems a shame to waste it. <laughs> so I figured that uh, I wasn't sure about the idea of coming up here doing five minutes of one joke. I wasn't sure I could pull it off. I was playing football with a football injury, um, if anybody's wondering. And I'm not the only um, yeah, a, a sports uh, person to be in the news this week. Obviously, uh, papers have been full of horses on drugs. Hot on the heels of horses on kebabs and fun. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but um, it's the smash of hypocrisy of the Daily Mail to up in arms. Normally they're the first to get on the high horse. Um, now, ladies and gentlemen, there have been uh, there, there, there have been some journalistic controversies in, in recent years. There have been some 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 pretty. Uh, you know, close to the bone stories, uh, phone hacking, obviously, um, parliamentary expenses. But recently I read the headline regarding that uh, I just thought it was uh, taking things a bit too far. The Great British Fire. It's a national disgrace. My God! I mean, I've seen the Guardian get close to the wind before, but this time they've gone too far. The Great British Fire. It's a British tradition out there, you know, Morris dancing and institutionalized racism. <laughs> <laughs> it's, uh, you know, it, 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 it's not something that uh, you, you should be messing with. Um, and um, you, should, you shouldn't believe what the marketing men tell you. Uh, there is a food crisis on at the moment. Um, I think that's how we're all in this together. But I didn't realize just how far up the um, socioeconomic uh, demographic um, Shame things have gone until I saw a headline in, in the grocer recently, uh, which convinced me that the middle class really has um, ha, ha, has fallen victim to the credit crunch. Olive oil industry on its knees. <laughs> My God. <laughs> now they'll be rioting in the aisles of Waco. <laughs> Let's. Um, uh, there's been bumper olive oil, uh, bumper olive oil harvest, or olive harvest, I guess, uh, in, in the last couple of years in Spain and Portugal. And as such, the, the price of olive oil has plummeted. So what you've actually got is um, olive oil, olive farmers, praying for bad harvests, and <laughs> so the prices will go up, which just goes to show how fucked up capitalism has become. I should probably come up with a punchline for that bit. <laughs> um, but yeah, you should, you should never believe uh, what the marketing man tell you. Uh, it was clearly a marketing man that came up with the phrase, the best thing since sliced bread. Because uh, if you think that um, for the only achievements of ancient society, uh, the wheel, uh, the pyramid, that the, the peak of uh, modern civilization is sliced bread, it doesn't say a lot for how far we've come as a, uh, as a species. And I've been trying to figure out the best thing uh, before sliced bread. And I'm guessing the bread knife. <laughs> but uh, what, what it, I, 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 I was brought up to me um, several years back why you should never uh, copy the ad, believe what you see in the ad. Because my um, camp, well, girlfriend, because she was then and I, for our first Valentine's Day, uh, we uh, decided to try and recreate that ad, uh, you may remember it. Uh, for Harvey Dust, where we couple in the shower, um, kind of like they had a top of Harvey Dust and we were kind of eating it, and well, you can probably guess the rest. Um, and uh, uh, so we were you know, doing the thing with Harvey Dust and the spoons and the body, and we actually discovered why you need the shower. Because <laughs> <laughs> you get sticky. And I mean, you've heard of spotted bits. This is kind of Velcro the giant. <laughs> uh, we, we just went in very rapidly, it uh, sounded like a, a really knackered uh, one out trying to form. Incidentally, I was recently accosted by uh, a group of transformers who said, Take me to your leader. And I said, No. And then she made really sad faces. 
Um, it was announced that a new group of uh, highly sensitive robot warriors, the emoticon. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> <laughs>